Good morning, Greater Manchester. It's just gone quarter to nine. I'm continuing our kids' half hour. It's Frank with 12 year old Denise. No, it's Lisa, isn't it? No, it's Denise. No, oh, it's Denise. Denise, yeah. Lisa, sorry. So Good Lisa morning to, do a poem to you. For us, isn't ah, it? In, of in, course. A, in a couple of minutes. But uh, all this week, Frank has been joining us in teaching our youngsters who are off uh, on the half term things to do, things to make and do. Things to make and do, yeah. We, we did fantastic spoon puppets, didn't we? We did. They were brilliant. Made out of spoons. And then we did the fantastic uh, puppets made out of socks and things like that. Oh, Today, yeah, though, that's a bit whiffy. we're doing a bit of colouring in, which anyone can do. It's a fantastic thing to do. But we've also got a fantastic experiment. Right, let's clear a bit of this away. I promised you this, right? Remember, I yep. said I was going to send a puppet into space. Yes, you did. Right, well, here's a rocket, right? And I'm going to leave some of these... Uh, instructions on reception so you can make your own rocket all it is it's a tube with all that stuck on it right and where am i putting <laughs> little bulls aldrin the american space puppet anyway he's in there probably uh, you brought you brought a pal in with you as well frank a lab rat i have because it's a controlled experiment over here yes we've got good morning lab rat hello frank how are you today i'm very well have you met everybody yes i have been introduced to everybody here Right now, They're this lovely. experiment, you obviously work in a lab. Yes. And is it dangerous? It can be dangerous if you're standing too close. Right. I usually send somebody else to do it and hide behind a wall. Right, no, it's not dangerous, really. Oh, he's right. just over dramatising it. Yes. Uh, tell me what you're doing at the moment, lab rat. I'm just touring. Are you? Yeah. Right, I've... because I'm going to be doing a new Saturday morning uh, television show for Channel M. Really? Right? Brilliant. You fancy coming on it? I'd love to be on it. Brilliant. Be great, wouldn't it? I need dry cleaning first. That's you need dry cleaning? Yeah. yeah. Right, well, we might all need dry cleaning shortly. Oh, no. I found uh, little Buzz Aldrin. Oh, you have? Right. Yeah. Yep, yeah, there he is. Little Buzz Aldrin, the American space puppet left by NASA on the moon in 1960. It was very neglectful of them. What? To leave him on the moon. I know. Right, could I have the experiment proper over here? Thank With you your glamorous much. assistant. Oh, you've got loads of assistants. <laughs> he is oh. glamorous. <laughs> right. What do I do with this now, lab rat? You place it on a sturdy surface. Right. right. Not a sturdy surface. Sturdy what surface. It's sturdy. As I say, what it is, yeah. it's a tube. Space. It's got water in it. And we've got one of them fizzy tablets. Or you can use baking powder. Yeah. Or something like that. Now, and you have tried this before, haven't you, Labra? Yes, I promise you, Frank, that I tried it, and it was very, very successful. Right. And well, slightly here we funny. go. Cover your ears, Denise. Let's see if yeah, it works. Who knows what's going to happen? We haven't got our specs on. Wait a minute. Don't Just close your eyes. Don't miss it. Ah, that was awesome. That was fantastic. Brilliant. We had a brilliant rocket launch live on television. Yeah. When will we see it's Little Buzz Aldrin Russia. again? When are we going to see him again? When we may never that? see him again. Little Buzz Aldrin. He's gone to the moon now. Yeah. Is that it? No, he'll be back when we do our Saturday morning uh, telly show. Are you coming on it? I will do, yeah. He can tell are us you what you've got come up on to. It? <laughs> yeah, I go and come every week and you can help us do all these make and do things, that'd be Frank, fantastic. you've made some great stuff for us this week and, and for uh, the kids at home who are on half term. If they wanted to kind of replicate some of the stuff that's been made here, how do they get in contact and find out? Right, I've got a website. Yep. www.franksworld.co.uk. Uh, yeah, yeah okay. But I'm going to leave space, things then. on the Herbis reception here. Okay. And Aww. also, if you go on the Channel M website, yeah. there'll be details there. And you can print off the sheets. When does your show start? I can't wait. Right. I'm doing the breakfast one with you. Yeah. Right. I'm doing Jenny's show. Yeah. I'm doing the fantastic Saturday morning show. I'm doing a celebrity sleepover. I'm doing the proper telly show and the test card. What more do you want, Mabby? Yeah, we you want more. change the name of the channel, Frank, to Channel F, maybe. Hey, watch your mouth, lab rat. <laughs> <laughs> Steady. Sorry. Don't be too cheeky. Yet. No, he's getting a bit big. Where did uh, you and Lab Rat team up? Uh, he, he helped me with one of the shows in London, I did. Yeah. And I, and I did a Timply tour, which I'm doing again in a couple of weeks. We get an open top bus, oh. fill it with people, and drive them. Look, there's the map. Timply tours, yeah. Down, Timply. And you can get there on the tram, can't you? It, it you didn't start do, off yeah. as an open top bus. He just did one of his rocket experiments, and it went terribly wrong. What do you think, Denise? Are you up for going on a school trip to Timply? <laughs> John's come. John's take come take in the sights. Like yeah. They have it's a post fantastic. office, you know. So we even get to see the elephant fields, <gasps> where elephants majestically wander through the fields in Timple. 
Well, and there's a new cafe next to the co-op. Frank, thanks very much for joining us this morning. If anybody at home wants to make some of the stuff that Frank has created for us all this week, then log on to Townland White website or Frank's own website and you can find more information and fact sheets. Big thank you to Frank for joining us through the school holidays. Keep, do keep a look out for his show. And we're also pleased to have our younger viewers enjoying the fun and showing us how talented our younger generation is. And a great example of that is 10-year-old Lisa Arthur, who's going to recite a poem called When He Fell in into the pond. Every